I have a twin sister and I have a younger sister and um, we grew up in a pretty unstable environment. We were placed in care in the ward of Children's Aid when we were about 10 years old. Foster home to foster home, I uh, never really stayed too long in either one. So I spent probably only a few days at each foster home and then I was relocated to another one. I assumed that foster homes were supposed to be the family that you didn't have until your family was ready to take you back and I kind of didn't get that feeling from anywhere so uh, I became really rebellious and I was always testing and trying people's patience to see and sort of get them to show that they really cared whether I was there or not. I met Amanda a few years ago um, when she had come to 360 Kids. She went away, she wasn't ready to receive the support. I sort of continued it in my pattern of crisis and uh, had my children very young. I was, I believe, uh, just before I turned 16 when I was pregnant with my first daughter. And then shortly after I had her, I became pregnant with my second. When I came to them, I had a list of things from Children's Aid. And at the top of the list, it said that um, this list is being held without prejudice. We don't think Amanda can do it, um, but we're giving her the list anyways, pretty much. I came to home base looking for a job, looking for counseling. It was a huge difference. Um, they really didn't look at you as being a child. In crisis, it was more focusing on how can we get you ready for the real world. We worked on her life skills, on her social skills, uh, building a positive support system for her, uh, teaching her about drug awareness, relationships, things that she learned in her own childhood that weren't positive, and how they've affected her parenting today. We take a complete 360 degree approach and we work with these youth to get them to where they are, where they need to be. It's hard to identify who is homeless and who is not because it, it has all types of looks and, and faces to it. The facility uh, through the region of York and then uh, Richmond Hill is a willing host community uh, to create uh, not only some affordable housing but also to create a, a hub for youth and a youth shelter. With youth in crisis the primary need is housing. You need that home base, you need that place to call a home. Uh, without shelter it's hard to address all those other needs. The new project allows us to do all that. It's 360 wraparound um, services. So not only are we, we giving them a place to sleep, but you're also addressing all the other issues around why they might have become homeless. 360 Kids has existed for over 20 years. I've, I became aware of them about eight years ago when I was looking for an organization to help some kids that I had bumped into who needed help, who were out on the streets and uh, I quickly understood the amazing ability of the staff of 360 Kids. This is like a high quality group of people who know what they're doing, who have compassion for young people, and really are committed to helping young people move forward in their lives. They were the only people who had confidence in me to do what I had to do to get my kids back, to get them back and to change my life. And uh, no one else had that confidence in me. And what I really like is in moving forward with their approach. They're very interested in understanding what works, what works for young people, what's effective. The supports and services that we provide are things like housing, employment, um, counseling, recreation, food, clothing, uh, life skills. I mean, many of the youth that we come, that we see coming here have a multitude of issues, not just one. It's not about, you know, doing homelessness as usual. It's about helping young people move into adulthood in a way that's going to be really good for them, good for their families, and good for the communities. And the 360 model is built on that idea. 
I have to say that those kids are our kids and our kids deserve our support. They just need to know that they matter to someone. Regardless of the circumstances that lead kids to homelessness, we have to remember one thing. They are. They are just, they're just kids. They don't need to suffer the way they do. 360 was the family that I never had. I wish that the other organization could do for kids what 360 has done for me and so many other people.